argument with Danny? Good old Danny, and, uh, then I get in trouble with the law, you know, and, um, I'm just, well... I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah, well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Danny's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, and there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? The moon is like... I don't know, it just seems moving really weird. Maybe not. Alright, time to go get the car to get Barry. Surely nothing bad will happen on the way there. Surely nothing bad will happen. Hey, look, there's a uh, Mr. Limp Man over there. Mr. Oh, hurry up. Get it now. Oh no. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Blaine. Right here, you goddamn maniac. Goddamn maniac. Alright, good to know that the cops are about as accurate as stormtroopers. But there was always no good. way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Alright, alright, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going we're going this way. Run away from Mr. Mean Nightingale person. Keep running, he called me like the names of like, like two or three Spillane Hemingway, like two or three different authors. At least I think Spillane is an author. I know Hemingway is. Uh, which way? Under the bridge. All right. I know Hemingway is an author, 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 author. But I know uh, I'm not sure about Spillane. Oh no, it's not me. Honest. It's not me. It's somebody else. Yeah, they kind of already know that I tried to make it through there because... Damn. Oh, God, they're shooting flares up. <laughs> oh, what the... F oh, low frame droppage. Holy crap. Okay, these guys are not happy with me. They're just pumping shells into the woods. They do not give a damn. Pretty sure that's not standard procedure just to start just blasting away. Especially in the middle of like a trailer home. Just to start blasting away when somebody starts running. They fired a good... Well, I'd imagine Nightingale fired his entire clip at me. So that's... Or... Barrel... Mag... I don't know. All, he fired all his ammo at me, probably. So that's six rounds. Not sure about the rest of the cops. It looked like they were firing. So I'd imagine I got at least a dozen... Shots fired at me in the middle of a trailer home with people sli sleeping, and the trailer walls are probably like an inch thick, so. Yeah, that definitely could have gone bad for quite a few people that were sleeping in their trailers. Something's like fallen. Okay, that's nice. That all sucks to be those cops. They have like any guns or anything for me? I don't even think there are any in there. Sheriff Breaker. Or can I listen to the uh
Alright, so Breaker is not happy with Nightingale. It looked like there was at least one other cop, though, that was shooting at me. It really did. Maybe not, but it, it definitely looked like there was at least one other person shooting at me. There goes another flare up there. Okay. Touch the area. Is that another flare? Stay shop. Yes, yes, stay shop and everything else. Okay, I need a gun. Oh boy. What the heck is going on? They've seen me like half a dozen times after I started running. And they still are just like, where is he? Let's just search the entire area. Even though they saw me when I was on the bridge, they saw me when I was running away from the bridge. They saw me up on that ledge there. Uh, the cops are getting eaten or whatever by the darkness people. That's cool. There's another this cop car. Was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. Well, they're not happy, and they know that their people are going down. Seems to me, though, that cops would have a much better time dealing with the darkness people things than some geek writer in a tweed jacket, as Breaker called me. It really seems that way. Okay, okay, I can hide right there, even though they were looking right at me. They don't seem to care. You stupid FBI Black Hawk helicopter. Hey, 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 hey. It's not fair. Oh, boy. I think the darkness is chasing me. Hey, guys. You think you can uh, take care of the... Oh, they're getting chased by birdies. Look at the birdies. They're like, oh, my God, there's birds. Run. Huh. Well... Sucks to be the people in there. Yeah, it really would suck to be in a... Especially if it was going down like that, just, like, bouncing all over the place and spinning around. That would suck so much. Really. To be in a helicopter and just have it go down, especially like that, just kind of twirling around and everything for... Seemingly quite a decent amount of time. Just like, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead the entire time. And eventually hit the ground and you die. Yeah, that sucks. I can look at this. Let's look at the uh, crash. Let's zoom in on the crash. Okay, let's zoom all the way in. There's is that the gas? That is gas station. And I I don't even see any bits of the helicopter. All I see is like a single source of a fire, which is seemingly about the same size as a campfire. It's not that impressive. You think? A helicopter, when it crashed, would definitely have a much uh, bigger... The explosion was pretty big, but like the after effects are leaving something to be desired. The radio station in the distance. Okay, that's the radio station and the radio tower, alright. Well, let's go in here, I guess. Do -do -do, anything in here? Let's see what this thing... See what this thing's doing. You know what I mean. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. 
Uh, right, now we have to keep going towards the the radio station, pretty sure. Let's, let's get out of here. Get out of here and run. We can go through this fence here. Oh, that's definitely not the way I want to go. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Oh, let me really focus, like but guy. up there, Perhaps yeah. You could give me directions to the coal mine. And away we go. More crows. Oh, well, that's cool. Unnatural so we shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Okay, is there anything else up here? Let's just let's see. Okay, there's a generator here. Let's pop the generator on. It was one pull, two pull, three pull, and we're good to go. The generator is up and running. The spotlight is spotting. This looks like a jump. Looks like they put this in here for some reason to like ramp off of. The old generator conked out. Well, that I sucks. See if I could fix it and try again. Okay, I guess that thing only has a limited amount of time. Wow, it like, okay, yeah. How does that work? Where it just like completely gets knocked off its, its hinges or whatever. Alright, let's go. Yeah, that thing is like leaking sparks all over the place. That's terrific. Alright. Yeah, screw you, darkness. Nobody wants any of that. And it conked out again. Amazing. But, the gate's down. We can go through. Trying to make it to the radio station. Get away from Nightingale. Okay. Checkpoint reached. Uh, and let me see what time it is. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, I pretty much just addressed what we were trying to do. And that's probably what we'll be doing next time. Is making it to the radio station. And I will see you next time on Alan Wake. Thank you for watching, and yeah, that's about it. Bye-bye.